extra minutes. Putting a knife or a scalpel down a young man's throat and, and clearly having a stab or two, and, and even what I believe was removing a bit of tissue or at least at least piercing some skin, I mean, that to me seemed horrific. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's horrendous to watch. Mm. Uh, and there's this urge that you feel like you need to get up and take that scalpel from his hand and say, you, you know, this is, this is criminal, this is wrong. Mm. Modern medical world could not condone this behaviour in any way whatsoever. So help me understand how people put themselves up for this, that get in the psyche to believe that this is actually going to help them. One of the things that we can probably draw some experience from is the concept of placebo. And we know from placebo, and what that means is whereby people are led to believe that they're receiving a certain treatment uh, when they're receiving nothing at all. Uh, more, recent research into placebo confirms that you can, through the power of belief, uh, trick your mind into believing certain things are happening. A classic example is uh, placebo studies involving uh, pain and if we can convince people that they have a, a product on their arm or something similar that will make them not feel any pain, special studies show that the person then activates areas in their brain that produce natural chemicals and hormones to prevent pain stimulus from being realised. So I think that the reason people tolerate these procedures that he does is because they turn up as avid believers and passionate believers. The ones that volunteer for the surgical procedures, they are absolutely committed to the message that John of God puts forward. And so I believe from what I've observed that they um, are in such a mental state of mind that they will tolerate these horrendous procedures he does without obvious signs of distress. Um, but I, I can't find any other explanation for their preparedness and their willingness and their receptiveness of such horrendous activities. So if John of God has any real skill in that room, it's manipulating the placebo effect? That's the only thing that I could come up with. There's really nothing else that I can come up as an answer. If the placebo effect there can have some good, would you advocate that anybody go before John of God and experience that? So I think we have to be relatively open-minded um, around what people perceive as being good for them as a positive outcome. There's a rule in medicine that says, first do no harm. So if no harm has been done, and if people walk away from the experience with a belief that they're better off as a result of it, then I probably don't have any major objection to the concept. I think if he was advocating spiritual renewal or spiritual outcomes as a result of the experience, then I would say that's fine. But when he's advocating medical treatment and medical cures, uh, I think there's a serious problem there.